Here we're looking at everything you can do with XPS Network as an athlete. So from your login screen, you can enter your username and password. And once you do so, click the green sign in button. This will take you to your home screen where you'll have two options at the top, agenda and calendar. Calendar gives you the ability to swipe back and forth by the previous or future months. And you can look at what was on your schedule for a certain day just by clicking on it. An agenda is a daily view of your schedule from the present day onwards. Looking at the first item in our agenda, I can see we have a training session that starts at one o'clock, finishes at two, and we've been asked to arrive 15 minutes early. I can click into this session and I can see exactly where it's going to be, how long the duration is, and any notes from the coach. So here we've got one that says, remember to bring a spare pair of shoes. Looking at the location, it's got an arrow on the right side. I can click on this and open up in my maps, Google or Apple to help me navigate to the field. I can look at the details of the plan, what drills we're doing for the day, the duration of those drills, and I can click in, have a look, watch the videos, read the descriptions, and you can use the next and previous buttons down the bottom to navigate back and forth between. The next item on our agenda is a workout. So I've got the ability in the top right of that workout to decide if I've completed the workout or not. I can click into the workout and I can see exactly what's been programmed for me to do in the gym. So here we've got bench press to start with. I can click into this and I can see exactly what my coach has programmed for me to do. Six reps of 30 kilos resting two minutes and then I can put my intensity level in out of 10 for each of the sets that I do in the gym. I can look at the information, read about the exercise, watch the video, look at my statistics over time and a history of every time I've completed that exercise. And you can add and remove sets down the bottom if you do more or less in your workout. Once you've completed the workout, you can tap the button at the bottom or at the top to complete it and you'll see the green tick appear. And the next item on the agenda is a team meeting that I know I is gonna be on Zoom at seven o'clock. So I can click into that and I can see which coach is going to be involved. Next up, we have a questionnaire, a readiness form and a training load form. So these are common examples of forms that a coach will send an athlete. By clicking on the questionnaire here, I can open up the form and I've been asked to fill out my place of birth so I can type that in and I can type my goals for 2023. And once you do so, you can click done in the bottom right hand corner and you'll notice the questionnaire is now green. Similarly for the readiness and training load, I can click into those. I can fill out the readiness form just by touching the bubbles. And once I've completed that, again, hit done. And the same for training load. I've been given three options to tell my coaches what type of training I've been doing. So let's say I did some individual training at home, which was a seven out of 10 in RPE, and I did an hour and 20 minutes of running. Once I input these values, hit done, and now we've filled out all of our forms. Another option you have is to fill out your attendance in advance, if you're going to be attending training or an event, and you can just click on the attendance button in the bottom right, and decide if you're attending sick, injured or other, and you can leave a comment for your coach. The next icon we're gonna look at is the chat bubble in the bottom left. And this will open up your messages where you can see all of your chat groups with individual coaches or your teams, and you can click into those and read the messages, view the photos, and open up any items that have been sent to you. Next up, we've got the plus button down the bottom in the center. And if we click on this, we can create an individual workout for ourselves, log an event that we've done outside of our team training, begin a new program, or fill out one of the forms. Next up, we're gonna be looking at the folder icon in the bottom right hand corner, which is our collections tab. And this will open up a library of all of the content that's been shared to you by your coaches. Moving on, we've got the reports icon in the bottom right hand corner. If we click on this, 
it will give us access to any reports that have been shared by our coaches. So here, for example, I can look at my readiness data that's been filled out. I can click across to see my physical testing results and any other data that's been shared by your coaches. Finally, in the top right hand corner, we have a bell icon, which is your notifications tab, which will list any new notifications that you have. And you can click your initials or your picture in the top right hand corner to open up your profile. You've got a few options here in your account. You can click edit your profile to change any of your information or your password. Looking at the settings option, this will allow you to update any of your notification settings within the app. And there's a blue button down the bottom which allows you to link your XPS calendar to your Google or Apple phone.